Howdy y'all. Um, just want to do a quick video. I tried to get back to welding today. Just been busy doing everything else, but um, you know, I've been watching some of Mike Hying, H-E-Y-I-N-G, I think it is, videos, and you know, after all this, I would definitely just suggest if you're not a really good welder, um, familiar with aluminum, or at least if you could just stay on the job, because I'm finding that when I take breaks and I come back, I have to get back into it, you know, it's like today, getting back into the same kind of welding I'd been doing. I wasn't really having a problem over there. You know, I started out and it looked like my welds are good and this is what's underneath. You know, and that's an inside corner, but <laughs> it's like, okay, so grind it down, clean it up, re-weld it, grind it down until I got it figured out, you know. You know, these walls are looking pretty good, but once in a while, I just get a hole pop through. It's like there's some impurity in there, something maybe down in the joint. You know, I cleaned the crap out of it, wire brushed it really good, cleaned it with acetone, you know, and yeah, it's just not going very well. This takes for flipping ever. So if you can get a welded hole that someone's guaranteeing for you just to deliver it, I would not go through this nightmare again. You know, I'm, I'm fairly proficient at welding, but you know, I don't know, I haven't been around guys that were good aluminum welders. So I don't know how this usually goes. And I assume that, you know, when you're doing this for a living, you start this project and you finish it. And you probably do it in dry, inside of a dry shop. It's been a crappy spring as far as just, you know, when there's good weather, I've been busy doing other things. You know, I went to four tens at work, which is just, kind of knocking me out through the week because I got to get up, you know, an hour earlier and stay at work an hour later and then go to bed an hour earlier. I mean, it's just, <clears throat> it's not happening during the week. And when I get a weekend, it's like, oh, I got to catch up on all the spring crap. So, you know, <laughs> for me, this boat project has just been, been a long show, you know, and especially when you just run into problems that you have to figure out and they're long-term problems like, boat you know the whole twisting and all that crap you know if someone had this size of a boat available for as a welded hull you know prefer you know i wanted the 12 foot boat you know the 3.8 and still do i like the deeper the deeper hole and all that stuff i didn't want the super mini hull the 10 footer or whatever or the three meter you know so you know mini jet watch Mike's videos you know the boat shows up you get to work on getting it going you know and I'm just just a little bit of crap I get you know I come out here and spend three or four hours and it's like oh I got a section of welding done it's like it really sucks it's really slow unless you just got a shop you can put the thing in and and stay on it till you finish it you know um, at least you stay in the groove on your welding you know you keep your train of thought you keep your process going, you know, you remember it. You know, the welder's fine. It's just um, every time you got to get back into it, you waste time. And um, so it's just, you know, as far as the welding aspect of it, I think it is smart just to buy the, the welded hole, and they are more expensive considerably. So, but man, this is going to be a two year project for me, you know, because most likely, I'm not going to have this thing run until the middle of winter. I mean, the way things are going, it's like, when am I actually going to be able to spend large chunks of time on this uninterrupted and just get something done? And it, it was the same last year, you know. I got started late, you know, in the, in the spring, you know, because of trying to get the right kits and all that stuff or get, get a kit that worked, swapping back out. It just... You know, my, the months I can work on these is probably November through February. And then after February, I'm just getting screwed on outdoor stuff. You know, and now with this new schedule, I was coming home, you know, on eight hour, five eighths at work. I was coming home and I had two, three good hours. And, you know, it wasn't, wasn't a problem. At least I could get into it daily. Just, it's just not happening on 410s. And, um, 
and with everything else. But so if you know you're watching these videos to see someone build a boat in the next month, it's just not going to happen. You know, I, you know, sorry about that for all you guys that want to see the stupid thing running. Uh, so do I. But man, mentally it's hard to get back into it. You know, when you're burning out on work and and all that crap too. It's like crap. I'm going to go out there. I know I've only got a couple hours. You know and I'm not going to get much done. Well, crap, I know where I can get something done somewhere else, you know, so I'm just not getting to it. But, um, you know, for all you guys that are looking to build one, you know, my suggestion is well as whole. Just get it. They'll guarantee it, you know, and obviously they're professionals. They got a shop. They're, you know, they start something, they finish it right away. They, they move through it. They've got their own processes and, and people, you know, and it's, I don't think the welding up your, the kit yourself, at least not this one, is really the way to go for an amateur or for a hobbyist. Um, unless you just don't mind taking years to get your job done. I mean, or you just, you know, live in a situation where you go to work, come home or whatever, and you got nothing else drawing your time. You know, that way, you know, it's like in the old days when I was younger, Go to work 10 hours a day, come home, work till 10 o'clock at night, you know, get up early, go to work, not a problem. Um, but of course I had less to deal with. I didn't have two properties. I didn't, <laughs> spring didn't hit and just totally destroy my projects. So, you know, it's your living situation, it's your responsibilities. And right now I've got responsibilities of building new infrastructure on a homestead property so I can grow my own food next year, um, meat, yeah, while I'm trying to, to build infrastructure to build, to you know, to be able to grow food year round. It's like, yeah, good luck getting the boat done. You know, so I'll get a little, little bit here done here and there, but it's probably not gonna be worth doing videos, you know, all the time. It's just gonna be so little progress. Um, but yeah, I, I would not, I would not do this again. I would probably even settle for a boat that I didn't want that I could buy as a complete welded hull, you know, or one that I didn't want as much, you know. So anyway, good luck on all your projects. I hope people, uh, you know, get something out of this, at least maybe get some advice that would help you make a choice on whether this kind of project is for you or not. Later, everybody.